Hooke's law is valid only up to a certain limit and only for small stresses. But how do we find that? And more importantly, what happens beyond that point if I increase the stress beyond that point? Uh, see, we also know that at some point, the if I increase the stress too much, a body will break, right? We have seen stuff breaking. So how does all this happen? To analyze this, let's do a simple exercise. So let's take, let's say, a, a metallic wire like this and uh, plot the stress versus strain graph. So we'll apply a stress, see, observe the strain and plot a graph with the stress on the y-axis and the strain on the x-axis. Okay, so let's do that. So we have, this is our normal length of the wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to start applying a slow stress, like slowly I'm going to increase the length. So obviously we know that as I increase, as I keep increasing the stress from Hooke's law, we know that the strain will also increase. So therefore, basically as I keep increasing F or the force, the elongation will keep increasing, right? And we find that it'll, the, if you draw the graph, it will be proportional. So therefore it will be a straight line, it will increase like this. And the slope of this graph will be equal to Y, which is the Young's modulus. Okay, all that is fine. Also, if I stop in between and if I bring it black slowly, that is if I reduce the force slowly and I let go, at the end, it will come back to its original shape. Right? The final length that it has is original. So what I'm basically saying is that the, the extension that we provide is reversible. Okay, all right, all that is fine. We'll keep, so I'm going to keep doing this. So you'll find that till you reach a point, let's say somewhere, let's call it A on the graph. Till you reach a point A, this proportionality is valid. But what happens is, after, if I increase the stress beyond that point, the strain that I produce is actually much greater. It's no longer, it's no longer proportional. Okay. So what basically means is that, so till before that point A, the same stress produced some sort of strain, right? But after that point, if I, for the same increase in stress, the increase in strain is greater, or rather, the slope of the graph will basically reduce. So this is what happened. So that point A, till where the proportionality is valid, you can call, it's called the proportionality limit. Okay. And beyond that, there is no more proportionality. Okay. So it, that happens. But even though the proportionality is not valid, if I bring it back, right, it will, if I bring the, if I reduce the force slowly, it will still come back to its original length. So it is still completely elastic, even though the proportionality is not valid. Okay. Fine. But next comes, let's say I take another point B. Okay. So after that point B, now, now that I've increased the stress beyond that point B, now if I bring it back slowly, what I find is at zero stress, there is a net strain, there is a net elongation. In other words, we've created a permanent deformation, a permanent elongation. So, that point B is called the yield point or the elastic limit. So that basically means that if I produce a stress beyond that point B, if I bring it back slowly, I will end up making a permanent deformation or permanent elongation. So that point, as I said, is called the yield point and the stress associated with that point is called the yield stress. Now what happens beyond that? What happens if I increase the stress beyond that? So what we find is, so till it reaches, till the graph reaches a point C, the, the strain for a corresponding increase in stress is very large. So basically for even for a small force, the elongation produced is very large. So the slope of the graph from B to C is very less, it's very small. So that's what happens. And then from C onwards, that is if I increase the stress right, beyond C, then the slope basically increases. So the strain produced is not as much as compared to the previous case. But yeah, so the slope increases like that, okay? Till it reaches a point D, which is the maximum stress possible. It's basically called the ultimate tensile strength. So basically we've reached a point where the, the wire is almost going to fracture, almost going to break apart. So at that point, when you increase the stress even further, I mean, you don't even have to increase the stress further to increase the extension or increase the strain. So what happens is the curve goes down. That basically means that to you, even if you in reduce the stress beyond that point, the elongation will increase, right? If you reduce the stress, the strain will increase. So that's what that conveys. And finally, we reach a point E, which is called the fracture point where the wire finally gives way and breaks up. So let me just explain that graph 
again a little slowly so we have a wire which for which you are increasing the stress right so if you see the graph so till it reaches a point a which we call the proportionality limit hooke's law is still valid so we find that stress by strain is always a constant and the slope is equal to the young's modulus simple now but from a to b stress by strain is no longer a, or it's no longer the same constant so it is not directly proportional but till a point b which we call the yield point or the elastic limit uh, only till there elasticity is seen that is if till I, till i reach the point b if i stop in between somewhere and i bring it back very slowly if i reduce the force very slowly it will come back to its original length but if i give a stress that's beyond the point b right and then if i try to bring it back it will not reach the original length it will reach some extra length so at zero stress also there will be some extra length so you end up having a permanent elongation okay so that point b is called the elastic limit now then of course there is a point c there is another point c where from b to c if you go even for a small increase in stress there is a very large increase in strain right so for small force also large elongation and then from c onwards now the slope is increased it's not that small it's slightly increased so even for a slight it's not the elongation is not as much as the previous case so but from c we reach a point d d is basically the maximum stress that this this wire can withstand so the, it can't go that's called the ultimate tensile stress now what that means is that beyond d even if you reduce the stress even if you reduce the force the strain will still increase that is the elongation will still increase right because it's almost going to break and then finally at the point e you can take no more and it will break completely at that point the strain is too much and it will break for more videos and live lectures on the jee click on the subscribe button now